Okay, sometimes what you'll be given is a function, and you'll be asked to enter differentiate and then sketch, um, sketch a series, uh, sketch sketch a family of these functions, or um, <clears throat> or state what else they could be, or or something like that. And here, what we've got in, and then what you'll be asked to do is you'll also be asked to determine what this value of c is, because normally we, um, if we enter differentiate this, we end up with c. Well, we'll be asked to get rid of c as well. So we do that by looking at initial conditions, which is what we've got here. So let's say, for example, we've got. Um, we'll start with something simple. So we're into differentiating cos of x dx. Well, we know that's going to be sine of x uh, plus c. Now, from there, if we were asked to sketch that, we would have one graph that would look like that, and then we could have another graph that would look like that, and we could have another graph that looked like that. That is because we don't know this value of c. So this c will transform the graph up or down, so it could look like that, like that or like that, depending on this value, depending whether it's positive or negative. So that's what we'll do. Now, we can eliminate this C. We can either do it by um, setting some limits, or we can look at some initial conditions or some other information we have. So that's what we've got in this case. So what we're going to ask to do is to differentiate this, and then given that it passes through the point pi and 2, we've been asked to write out what the actual equation will end up being. So we differentiate this, and we end up with 1 over 2 sine of 2x minus negative 1 over 2 cos of 2x. And we've got our plus c. So from there we simplify. 1 over 2 sine of 2x plus 1 over 2 cos of 2x plus c. Now, given the passes through pi and 2, we know we've got 1 over 2 sine of 2 pi plus 1 over 2 cos of 2 pi plus c will equal 2. Sine of 2 pi is 0, so we've got 1 over 2 cos, oh sorry, Get rid of some of that. Sine of 2 pi is 0. Sine of, and cos of 2 pi is 1. So we've got 1 over 2 plus c equals 2. Hmm. I think I've made a mistake. Nope. So we take our uh, half over to the other side. And we end up with c equals 3 over 2. So now based on that, our equation ends up becoming 1 over 2 sine of 2x plus 1 over 2 cos of 2x. We don't have c anymore, we've got that, plus 3 over 2. So these are the steps that we take.